interrupted by a phone call. And I was all the way on question six. So now I have to do it again. Okay. Okay, let well okay, let's just start the whole thing over. So I've um I've been tagged by Kanye West three one five. Um I really appreciate it, man. Thanks for getting my name out there. Um I really didn't expect to get tagged by anyone in this whole uh, tagging thing. I mean, I saw the video that Underworld posted when he first did it, and I thought it was a really good idea, but I really didn't think it would come back to me. I mean, I just started Yugi tubing, but thank you. I really appreciate it, man. Um, so let's get into it. So the first question is, what's your uh, real first name? Uh, my real name is Alan. Uh, if you read my description in my channel, you can actually, you know, see my name. That is, it's Alan. <laughs> um, how did you get into Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, I got into Yu-Gi-Oh the same way most kids got into it around when it came out. Uh, I saw the anime, and I thought it was really, just really freaking cool. I've been a fan of cards, like, all my life. Like, I just love cards. I don't know why. Like, I used to do magic tricks. I love Pokemon to freaking death. If I was alive when magic was, like, when it came out, I probably would have been a magic. <laughs> but, yeah. So, cards have just always been, like, a cool thing. Like, I've always liked cards for some reason. Um, but, yeah, I saw the episode where Yu-Gi got his, uh, five pieces of Exodia. Like, I think they got thrown off a boat. And it was, like, that insect player who did it. And I was like, oh, shit. I was, like, going nuts. But um, then I saw another episode where Yugi, like, uh, he was playing Kaiba. Or, no, he's playing Pegasus. I remember that episode. He was playing Pegasus. And, oh, no, I lied. I lied. I saw the episode where it was the first episode where Yugi and Joey were playing at school. And I was like, yo, this is, like, real life. This is awesome. And I went, I went to school the next day. It was, like, middle school. It was, like, fifth grade, maybe fourth grade. And all the kids playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, they have starter decks. I was like, oh, shit. I'm feeling out the loop. I got to get one. So I got the blue eye starter deck, 3,000, eating up everyone. Yeah, Dark Magician really wasn't my favorite card. It was blue eyes. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that's how I got into it, guys. Uh, I didn't take a competitive view on it until this year. I didn't learn how to play until maybe two years after I just started getting cards because my neighbor was actually older. My neighbor was like five years older than me. He was like the same age as my brother. And those two knew how to play. Like They learned how to play, and then he eventually taught me and his little brother how to play how to make a deck and how to make like a decent deck and things like that. Back then it was four star ninety hundreds and a fucking Jinzo and someone's skull. That's what it was. I mean that was the good stuff. But yeah, that's how I uh, got into Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, why or how did you start Yu-Gi tubing? Um, I've been a fan of Yu-Gi tubers and Yu-Gi tubing since like since Waffles was at his prime doing it since since when like. Emical 40 was the shit with his trade binders, like text, like JDs for pages and stuff like that. Yeah, that's when I was into Yu Gi Oh! That's when I first saw it, and I was like, oh my god, it's crazy. I used to trade on YouTube back and forth all the time. Never made a channel. Um, I always wanted to make a channel. I guess I guess I just didn't know what's like, I, I guess I felt like I had to be unique to make a channel. And for the most part, that's true. If you want to be a successful YouTuber and get partnership, I, you do have to do something unique. I understand that probably. But, um, I'm not, I'm not doing Yugi tubing for the money or, you know, to get famous. I'm actually just doing it because I like to do it. <laughs> I like talking about the game, showing my ideas for decks and things like that. And, I mean, if you guys like it, you can subscribe, you can like it, you can dislike it, whatever you want, you know. I do, I do this for me. I do it for me and you guys. Like, you guys like to watch it, there you go. Makes me happy. Um, nowhere, I'm never, I, w I would do this for free. If I had 10,000 subscribers and then you get paid... I would still be doing this, so it has nothing to do with money or fame or anything like that. Just for me and the fans who watch me, so that's why I do Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, what is the best time you ever had at a Yu-Gi-Oh! event? Um, believe it or not, I've only been to two major events and the regionals. They weren't anything big, because like I said, um, I've only started taking a competitive view in the game this year. And the first uh, event that I've been to, it was a regionals in Stratford, Connecticut, and it was really big. Um, Connecticut does have a lot of good players. We have Quite a few, actually. So it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to top regionals. But on my first regional, I didn't have the deck. I had the deck I wanted to play, but just not to the extent how I wanted to build. Also, the extra deck inside deck, it wasn't to the extent of how I wanted it to be. Because I didn't have my tour guys. I didn't have some of the extra deck cards I needed, like I do now. Um, like, just back then, I just didn't shell out, like, all the money you need. I mean, it sucks that this game requires so much money to have this top tier stuff. But, I mean, I just didn't... Um, buy them at the time. I really didn't have the money for it either. So, um, regardless, I played Dark Worlds and I did really good. I went X1 and then I lost some other round. Or no, I was like, I went, uh, yeah, I was X1 
for like four games, and then I lost one, and then I was in this one game, I was playing Heroes, and if I would have won this game, I would have topped, and I would have got my invite, um, it, we, we both played the game really well, um, I didn't make any misplays that game, I was really proud of myself, and it got to the point where it was just toxic, who gets the monster, who gets the monster, who gets the out, and I drew a heavy storm, and I had a snow in hand, it was at like a thousand life, I did heavy, he had a solemn, I was like, you know, if I don't summon this card now and attack, he's going to summon his card and attack. Because prior to that, he had um, searched for an alias. I remember that. So, I had I had to summon an attack, and he had a mirror force set. Couldn't do anything about it, so. Um, yeah, if, I, if it wasn't for that, I would have topped my first regionals, which would have been really cool. But, I went to another regionals after that. Um, I scrapped out. I didn't do good at that one. But, yeah. I'm going to the... Regionals or YCS in um, Rhode Island. I'm not sure if it's a YCS or regional. And then I should be going to another one in Indy. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna get to travel a lot this year. I really wanna, really wanna just start doing good. Like I want to just top Nats and everything. Like I wanna win. Like I have that motivation to fucking win. I don't wanna just travel and lose. It's not the way it goes. Okay. Um, so that's how. That's my favorite event and stuff like that. So. Uh, what is your favorite deck ever? Um, my favorite deck ever, like, that I've ever played has to be Black Wings, um, because I started Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! when Black Wings were at the prime, like, started, like, playing at Locals when Black Wings were at the prime, and, um, I never got to play them when they were at the prime, but I knew how they, I knew how they were, like, played, and I really liked how that was, like, three World 1, three Shuras, three Boar, like, all that, I really liked that a lot, um, like, a couple months after, when they died down a little, and, uh, World 1 went to 1, that's when I actually picked up Black Wings, and I still like the deck. It now includes at 2, so who knows, I'm going to try to build it again. But, um, it was one of my favorite decks. Um, if you have to, if you have to say what is my favorite competitive deck that I've actually played with, played with all of the cards in it, um, i got to say Windups. Windups is definitely my favorite deck right now. It's so many plays you can do with it. I mean, it's a very skillful deck. A lot of people just think it's, oh, loop, 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 loop. It's not loop, 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 because you don't draw the loop all the time. And when you don't draw the loop, you have to learn how to play without a loop. And it's really fun, actually. <laughs> Grinding out with windups, you can do it. So that's why when people say the deck is so dead when Zemindy's at one, that's not true. I mean, it's really hard to play it, I guess. I mean, you can still loop for three cards or two cards, whatever. But you can still make rank threes for days. I don't know, man. There's got to be something you can do. In level fours, so level fives, and all that stuff. Level sixes, even. But yeah. So that's my favorite deck. Um, what is your or what? Why do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, I mean, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's, it's a good hobby to get into. I mean, it makes you think. Um, you meet a lot of people. I met a lot of my best friends right now through Yu-Gi-Oh. My freshman year, I met one of my friends, and we're still friends now. And he always hooks me up with cards, and he's just a good player, and he helps me out with stuff. And I mean, there's just, there's a whole group of us. We've all met through Yu-Gi-Oh, and well, most of us have met through Yu-Gi-Oh, and it's. It's really cool to, you know, just meet friends like that. Like, every time after locals, we'll all go to Burger King, we'll all go to Denny's or something. It'll be, like, ten of us, and we'll all just hang out, have a good time. So, you know, you meet people when you play Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, overall, it's a competitive game, and any competitive game, you have a motivation to win. And I love doing that. I'm a very competitive person in anything I do. Um, and it's just, it's a good game, man. It gets you out of trouble. I mean, you don't do bad things. You focus more, I guess. It's just a good, it's a good hobby to get into. You just have to... Try not to go bankrupt when you buy all those cards. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, last question is, who are your two tagged yu gi -Oh tubers? Um, I wish I had two. I don't have two. I only have one yu gi -Oh tuber I want to tag, because I just... Every yu gi -Oh tuber that I would have tagged has already been tagged. So I mean, there's just not that much to mm, tag, really. So, uh, the one yu gi -Oh tuber I'm going to tag is uh, Uber Zero. Uh, he's my friend Carlos. Uh, he's one of the friends I hang out with every uh, weekend. And he's, he's a good player. He's a really good player. He's got, like, 500 subscribers, um, and he has good content. He really does have good content, and, um, I think you guys should definitely check him out, help him hit a 1,000. So, yeah, um, thank you, Kanye West 315 for tagging me, and hopefully I can get a video up on your channel soon. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and peace.